Good morning. Welcome to Edis Academy. This morning we are going to look into a very important concept in macroeconometrics, which is what we call the vector error correction mechanism. The vector error correction mechanism uh, is a modification of the VAR, which is bad. The VAR was uh, introduced as a concept in macroeconometrics to actually look at situation where the dependent variable autoregresses itself and it simply means that in the VAR model all the variables under considerations are indigenous in nature because why are they indigenous? They are indigenous because in the VAR model it is expected that the, the situation is theoretical because in VAR model it is very very difficult to actually identify a theoretical framework for which the VAR is built upon so given the contemporaneous relationship in the VR model, it is expected that for you to build a vacuum model, you must actually understand what the VR uh, is all about. So this morning, I'm going to teach you how, how to build a vacuum model, which is a modification of the, of the VR model. So basically, uh, to build the vacuum model, we have to build the VR model first. Why the vacuum or the ECM solve problem? The VR explains the effect of shocks and innovations on the system. For instance, if you want to specify the effect of depth stock on economic development, then this equation becomes very, very handy. This is an example of uh, the, uh, the VAR, VR model. In this model, we have the dependent variable, we have the long run. This is the long run equation. The long run section will also have the short run section that has the sigma signs. We call the HDI in this context is used as the dependent variable or and uh, the lag value the lag value which is t, the, the variable with t minus one is also the dependent variable in this context the HDI autoregresses itself also appear as a dependent variable and its previous value also appear as independent variable we also have all previous values of the explanatory variables the domestic depth and the foreign depth we also look at their past values alone, not their present value. In the long run, so in the short run, we look at uh, we look at the 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 summation of this, and uh, we also want to inform you that in the vector model or in the, in the VR model, the lag values, the lags of each of these parameters, or each of these variables are different. They do not have the uniform lag value. So when you are looking at it from the study perspective, you are estimating the model, you have to be very, very careful with the lag value because the difference between the uh, VR and, and the vacuum is that in the vacuum model, uh, you must lose a lag. And since you must lose, lose a lag in the vacuum model, it is expected I show you how the vacuum model looks like. For instance, this is a modified version uh, of the VAR I just uh, uh, I spoke of uh, previously. This is the VAR. In VAR, I told you that all the dependent variables, all the variables are all endogenous. Why are they endogenous? They are endogenous because all the variables uh, have uh, different powers, different, uh, different, uh, different lag values, and as such, they are very, very endogenous in nature. So we specify the VAR model like this look at the variables one after the other well our main attention this morning is to actually look at the 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 vacuum model because i told you that the vacuum model is the modification of the var model so let's go down to actually look at how a vacuum model looked like this is how a vacuum model of the above relationship looked like while actually trying to specify the impact of depth stock on and economic development uh, in Nigeria, if economic development is being proceeded with uh, uh, HDI, which is Human Development Index, then to build the vacuum model, we we'll have uh, the first uh, equation, which is this. You look at this. Uh, we we'll look at this. This is the constant, the constant plus the summation of. We have k. The power here is k. K minus one. That is different between the VAR and the uh, vacuum model. This is n minus 1 and this is n minus 1. I will also have another term here, which is the error correction term, 
this is the error correction term we also have another term this is the error correction term the error correction term is also included in the vector model but in the var model the error correction term uh, is not part of the var model because the var will not solve any problem rather var only enables us to actually know the contemporaneous relationship in the model or how shocks and innovations have been uh, uh, part of what actually caused the system to to have been in the circular over time so anytime we are going to discuss the VAR model, I'm going to expose to you other components of the VAR model that is very, very necessary for our understanding and uh, comprehension as we progress uh, in, in the field of macroeconometrics. So this is the first equation, equation of the human development index. And the second equation is the equation of the domestic depth. Then the third equation is the equation of the foreign depth. So this is how we specify uh, our our model and uh, i believe if we uh, take time to actually arrange our model like this uh, it will be okay so the 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 variables under consideration these are the meaning of the acronyms we have ddg groups of domestic depth we have uh, fdg groups of foreign depth we have the human development index we also have uh, far and beta the parameter of uh, unknown uh, coefficients or variables. So basically, uh, estimating VAR uh, is the prelude to actually identifying how uh, VECM will be estimated. So brethren, brothers, and followers, while trying to actually estimate, uh, specify your model, you have to be very, very careful with how you build equations because equations are not just built based on uh, on high, on high set rather equations are built in line with uh, appropriate uh, process and procedures so building a vacuum model will require you to have an in-depth understanding of uh, the var model so this is where we stop this short class this morning i'll proceed to actually show you how a vacuum uh, model is being estimated i also interpret it appropriately Please don't leave this channel, stay tuned and follow up the next class. Thank you and God bless you.